It's been a long day at work at the mill. You know, sometimes you just want a cocktail quick and easy. <laughs> exactly. This is Troy. This is Nate. And using this crazy contraption from the heyday of the 1950s American cocktail party, we're going to try each one of its recipes and find out which one of these long-forgotten libations still stands the test of time. This is The Vintage Bartender. Hey everyone, welcome to today's episode of The Vintage Bartender. I'm Nate. I'm Troy. And we're going to continue our journey exploring the 1950s Bar A Cocktail Rolodex with one more on our storied 80 drink journey. Troy, would you like to know what today's drink is? I would like to know what today's drink is, please. Episode number 10. The <laughs> Bacardi Cocktail. Bacardi Cocktail. I had never heard. I mean, obviously I know what Bacardi is if you've yes. been a 15-year-old um, <laughs> drinking in the woods. But uh, <laughs> I've never heard it referred that, to. That, that painted a good picture for me. I've never, <laughs> Welcome yeah. to my life. Yeah. Uh, um, but... I've never heard of a Bacardi cocktail, obviously. No, They're it's a namesake cocktail. On it, exactly. Uh, even the uh, previous ones, like the Applejack Sour, I guess technically, you know, makes sense. We yeah. don't call it what it is. All right. So we have got the Bacardi cocktail on our list. We've got, obviously, Bacardi. There is some citrus. We've got some sweet. Not totally, unlike kind of a no. Thai-ish yeah, type exactly. of Yeah, exactly. I mean, Puerto Rican rum, Puerto Bacardi. Rican. So I feel like uh, you know, the salsa dancing. Like what? What's what's their what's their their music? Uh, I, I I don't know. I don't know either. Maybe, don't maybe, know. maybe we should look that up in the history. Yeah. Speaking of that, let's, let's find out. Let's find out. Find out the history of the Bacardi cocktail. What do you think? Let's do it. All right. Let's Back see the history. See it. The Bacardi cocktail, one of the most popular cocktails following the repeal of prohibition, is in the daiquiri family of drinks. The Bar Aid stays true to the original rum, lime juice, and sugar recipe, credited to Jennings S. Cox as a refreshing drink for his copper mining crews in Daiquiri, Cuba. Yes, there's a place called Daiquiri. Newer variations of the original substitute grenadine in place of the sugar. Oh, and the dances of Cuba, not Puerto Rico, are the danzon, the mambo, and the salsa. Now, back to making cocktails. And we're back from the history. All right. Did we find out what the what your answer to your question was? The music of the Puerto Ricans. I think we did. All right. Cool. And if we didn't, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you haven't learned by now, we do the history <laughs> after the fact. <laughs> we just kind of <laughs> work our way through it we and do. lie. We <laughs> do our best. <laughs> That's all anyone can ever ask. Yes, exactly. Oh my lord. But I'm excited to try the Bacardi cocktail. Let's so let's it. make this thing. Let's make this thing. All right, on our bar A, we've got the Bacardi cocktail, two jiggers of Bacardi rum. I mean, that's that's pretty rum forward. Two jiggers, and that makes perfect sense. And a jigger is what we learned is one and a half ounces. One and a half ounces, which is right there. One jigger. One jigger. Two jiggers. Two jiggers. And we've got to balance our rum and give it a little bit of an island vibe, a juice of half a lime. Half a lime coming up. All right. I like half a lime. Nice. I love lime juice in, in cocktails. It's so good. Especially it's... fresh squeezed lime juice. Oh, yeah. You can't go with like any kind of that lime roses juice. bottle and stuff. Don't do no, that. Don't do that. Do yourself for cocktails. That's mm -hmm. um, unheard of. No one likes that. So yeah. we got juice of half a lime. Check, check. And then we've got two dashes of sugar syrup. Sugar which, syrup? Just sugar in dash. water, right? Dash. And because I, I don't know. No, that was good. Right? Two dashes. And a little, 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 little extra. And one to grow on. And one to you. <laughs> Slightly altering the recipe for our tastes. Honestly, I feel like we've earned the right to be able to uh, make minor modifications exactly. to what we're trying to do. I mean, we're trying to respect the history, but I don't think of we course. disrespect it. I don't putting so. a little bit of extra dash. Depend on your dashes, that could have been too. Exactly. Who knows? All right. Shake well with ice and strain. Shake well with ice and strain. You know what time it is? It's time for the shake. Shake time. Right. Shake music. I need to look Puerto Rican proper move of the other of these atoms. So. All right. <laughs> Maybe we'll add different music this time. I think we have to put some Puerto Rican music to that okay. shake time. All right. Well, it seems <laughs> Whichever that is. Which, whatever the history. <laughs> it's like algebra. It all adds up. All right. All right, shake well with ice and strain. Into what do we got here? These are. Uh, just have some old fashioned glasses. Old fashioned glasses. 
I'm not going to fill it up, but all we need to do is taste it. Yeah. And I noticed no one serves it with the ice in the drink hardly. You know, in this room. Yes. It's, all it's not over it. ice. It's always strained into glass. Yeah. There's, there's very little ice in the glass. Did they have, like... I think maybe it's harder to come by ice in the 1950s. Maybe. Like, because of all the technology. Yeah, they so they only had used their ice for their strength, their actual yeah. cooling they can't just the drink. Handing out <laughs> ice. The ice willy-nilly. Jeez, what are we, rich? <laughs> Rockefeller? <laughs> you got the ice, ice truck only comes around once a week. I gotta use the ice to <laughs> keep my meat cold. And <laughs> God forbid you had ice cream. So, all right. All, all right. right. Made our first Bacardi cocktail. Bacardi cocktail. I Troy, it's time for the uh, what time first is it? sip. Is it time for the first sip? Time for the first sip. All right, cheers. Here we go. Bacardi cocktail. Bacardi cocktail. Slightly sweetened. Mm. And it's got the citrus. It's got the citrus. The limey. My nose doesn't really work that great anymore. So. That is actually pretty tasty. I think we did ourselves a little bit. We of did. Favor. We did. That was a perfect add of a little extra, yeah. little, little extra symbol. So it's obviously. Lots of, you get the rum, you know, rum in, in and of itself is made of sugar, right? Mm-hmm. And then you've got the citrus, the lime in this case, then a straight, you know, add of additional sugar. So to keep it balanced, booze. I get the sweetness first, then you get the taste of the rum, kind of alcohol. Yeah. Not burn, but you know, warmness right after. Yeah, yeah. And then the kind of limey, let me finish. Yeah, yeah. Limey. Limey finish. Yeah, I definitely get this same. It's sweet first and foremost. You get the citrus, you get the lime. Very simple cocktail, but you know, very well executed. For what they had, you know, and the most homes, you know, you could you could achieve this. You probably have this in your house. You know, to make a Mai Tai, you need like almond syrup and mint yeah. and other sort of, you know. Yeah. Uh, heroic efforts to make something happen. You know, this After is a kind long of day of work at the mill. You know, sometimes you just want a cocktail quick and easy. <laughs> it's like the mill. <laughs> I don't know. Paper <laughs> mill, <laughs> oak mill. I don't know. Whatever mill. <laughs> Maybe mine. I don't know. Maybe mine. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know why you transitioned. Come out of that coal mine. <laughs> Appalachia. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're going to Miller High Life if you're coming out of the coal mine. <laughs> That's probably true. You're probably not reaching for the Puerto Rican or um, Maybe not. But. But uh, yeah, um, I like it. It's it's a good, it's pleasant summer like go with it type of drink. Because of the two jiggers of rum, I expected it to be pretty overpowering alcohol yeah, flavor, but it, but it wasn't. The lime really mellows it out, and it obviously the adding of the, the sugar does as well. So yeah. good balance of, of flavors. Yeah, for sure. You know, at your uh, summer barbecue, throw a couple of these down. Yeah, there, for sure. Yeah, add this to your. Uh, Barbecue cocktail list. Yeah, there you go. Because everybody has one of those. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and and hey, if you made a, a punch bowl of this and kind of, you know, yeah, one of those, you know, thingies, that could be dangerous. Yeah, because it, it doesn't taste like there's a ton of booze in there, right? And it's mostly booze. Mm, that's true. It is very little actual no filler fluid uh, <laughs> other thing yeah. not booze exactly. But yeah, so as we go through the bar aid, we like to ask ourselves the question, We do. does the cocktail stand the test of time? So for this one, Nate, what do you think? Uh, for me, it does stand the test of time. And in fact, I would say there's even evidence of it standing the test of time in the, all the different variations we've come to see in and around this particular yeah. set of chemistry with the tiki and all those other things. So uh, for me, yes, that's a bang. <laughs> yes. Stand the test of time. Yes, that's fine. What about you, man? I think for me, also stands the test of time. I, I actually like this. I liked it more than I thought I would. Yeah. I thought I would be drinking a shot of rum when I saw the ingredients, <laughs> but it, it is really tasty. I, I enjoyed it. It is. And I will continue to enjoy it. I'm and wondering time. what we would do to it. You know what I mean? Like, what would you do to it? Like, anything? I mean, for me, because I have a bit of a sweet tooth, I might add some either Sprite or Coke. Okay. To make it more of just a, a bigger filling drink, mm, you know, sure. versus just the alcohol in right. this, and maybe put it over ice. I think it definitely needs to be sitting in ice, personally. I, yes. mean, I don't know why they, I'm, I'm guessing it was the ice was hard to come by a moment, but yeah, if this was sitting in ice, you know, um, 
and just like crushed yeah a big crushed ice would just pour over the top totally you know you could really like get something going there it's very refreshing like a mojito kind yeah. of in that in that realm yeah i i might add a slightly more uh lime too okay you know what I, mean? I could see that just to kind of bring the citrus vibe a little forward yeah, yeah versus yeah. yeah no that's good but overall bacardi cocktail it's a keeper it's a keeper it's a keeper all right take that one home to mom yeah and we encourage you to make the Bacardi cocktail. We would encourage you to make all these drinks that we've been making. And tell us about what you're uh, seeing, experiencing, agree yeah. and disagree. Um, you know, give it a shot. Always do it responsibly, of course. You know, we don't want that. Responsibly. We don't want that on our conscience. Yes. Use your good judgment. <laughs> Just like ours. Use your good judgment. <laughs> Not our judgment. <laughs> yeah. You got it. Exactly. All right. All right. Well, I think that about does it for this episode, yeah? It does. Of the Vintage Bartender, thanks for tuning in as we go through the Bar 8 1950s cocktail Rolodex and see which recipes stand the test of time. This episode, Cardi Cocktail, stood the test of time. Yep. But until next time, thanks for tuning in. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Clap it in. Keep on encroaching on my space. Am I, am I encroaching? No, you're fine. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're an eighth of the way through after this. <laughs> a very specific milestone. <laughs> oh, of course. That's the eighth, eighth milestone. <laughs> Why? 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 We should celebrate by having a cocktail. Well, you should. <laughs> <laughs>